So I was streaming yesterday, right? And one of my viewers is like, Yo, Fly Guy, I followed you because you do NBA 2K stuff. And I'm like, bro, when I post my NBA 2K videos, they get no love. He like, nah, I need you to go ahead and put out that video about stuff about NBA 2K that's been dropping lately. I'm like, you know what? Alright. I got it. Let's get it. So, we already know that the trailer dropped a few days ago with the PlayStation 5 release and all that good stuff. We know that. But also, some select YouTubers got some special stuff that we're going to talk about today because it could be big in the future of NBA 2K. But before we get too far into this video, tell a hater what? Worry about yourself. Now, like many people, I was actually shocked at how good the graphics actually look on this game. However, a lot of people have doubts that the game will actually play like this or even look like this when the game actually releases. If you're anything like me, you wanted this trailer to blow your mind similar to the way NBA 2K14 did. Unfortunately, this trailer didn't capture the same magic that the NBA 2K14 trailer did. But let's talk about a few things in this trailer that is possible that is going to be in NBA 2K21, given what we can actually see from the trailer. And yes, I know this trailer doesn't show a lot, but there's a few things that I'm noticing. First thing I notice is it appears that Zion Williamson is actually practicing in a high school gym. Maybe in my career, it's possible that with superstar high school athletes like Bronny James and Mikey Williams and Zion Williamson once was as well, that they might explore more into developing your player starting from high school, diving deeper into an even more immersive my career story mode. Another thing that I notice is the fluidity when it comes to dribbling. Dribbling looks a lot more crisp in my opinion. It looks more realistic and then on top of that, foot planning looks like they actually worked on that again because 2K always breaks the foot planning year over year. Hopefully, this is in the right direction. Now this is just an eyesore for myself. It looks like they've actually improved the net and rim physics. I do know from NBA 2K14 all the way to NBA 2K20, the net and rim physics have been garbage, in my opinion. But this looks like a dramatic improvement in the right direction. Now all that's cool, but 2K does have to put it in a good package. They have to make a complete game that works from the jump. It cannot be broken when it releases. Also, YouTubers like Cash Nasty and Troyden got a box with this letter here. It says, want to get to the big stage, major in aerodynamics, or make a splash in the G, feel the energy of a sold out crowd, then make their night, or ruin it with a buzzer beater? You're about to see the game from a new perspective. Get ready. And then to follow up, they're hinting that the neighborhood has a new name. Which, to be completely honest, uh, I never called the neighborhood the neighborhood. It was always the park. I'm... I'm just saying. The big stage is my biggest question here. Yes, that could just mean the NBA. However, they wouldn't just block out the big stage if it just meant the NBA. So, with that being said, I really feel like that's about to be something big in NBA 2K that we have not seen before. But also, it looks like you'll be able to play in the G League as well. Now listen, you're about to see the game from a new perspective. Get ready. What does that mean? Imagine... If my career had a first-person mode, a first-person camera, what if that is the new my career? I mean, it literally says perspective, so I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just making guesses off the top of my head. I don't know what NBA 2K21 is going to do. However, it sounds like this could be a big year for NBA 2K. Now again, most of this is speculation. I don't know exactly what's going on, but that's what it looks like based on what I can read in front of me. So with that being said, I wouldn't be surprised if we got like a first person mode because I remember in NFL 2K, you did have a helmet cam. So imagine them incorporating that into NBA 2K. Now I'm not gonna talk y'all head off about what if this or what if that. I'm not going to do that, but I will say that there's possibilities that some of these things come to fruition. Few side notes, if you haven't subbed to the channel, go ahead and sub to the channel. Your boy is back. Make sure you sub. Turn on those notifications. You might as well because my content...
it is what it is so make sure you do that but also i stream on twitch that's twitch.tv slash flyguygbg i will try to put the link in the description but youtube be like nah fam nah but i'm not a 2k streamer so don't don't come over there think you just gonna watch 2k all day because nope <laughs>